Let's start working on question 2.4 now. So university education has positive externalities. Now suppose the demand for education is given by this function where P is the price and the quantity, the Q is the quantity of education. Now we also have marginal external benefits given by this function over here. The marginal cost of university education is constant and equal to 20, which is also equal to the price of the education. Now, what do we have in part A? Derive the socially efficient level and the level of university education that arises without government interventions. Well, let's see. When we think about the social efficient level, we have to think about the benefit and the cost to the entire society. What do we have here? We have benefit. We have benefit privately, the marginal private benefit, which is given by the demand curve because the demand curve gives us the price at which we sell education. So the money that we obtain from selling education is our marginal private benefit, so MB. Now, we also have the marginal external benefit, that's the additional benefit to society because more educated people would imply a better society overall, and we have a marginal cost as well. So let's see, in part A, if we want to find out the social optimal level, we will take into account the marginal benefit plus the marginal external benefit and the marginal cost of education. So what would we have? The marginal benefit is the following function, 100 minus 2 times the quantity, so we would have 100 minus 2Q, plus the marginal external benefit is 25 minus 1 over 2 quantity, so 25 minus 1 over 2Q equals to the marginal cost, which is equal to 20, so that would be 20. Now let's solve this, let's see what we get. We would have the following, 100 plus 25, that's 125, and then we take 20 to the other side, so minus 20, minus 20 is equal to minus 2q minus a half q that's minus 2.5q we move them to the other side so that becomes 2.5 times the quantity 120 minus sorry 125 minus 20 that's equal to 105 so we have 105 equals to 2.5 times the quantity meaning that the quantity under the social optimal level is going to be equal to 42 so the quantity the quantity under the social optimal level is equal to 42 units. Now, without the government intervention, the university would think about the benefit that it gets only for itself. So we would make just the marginal benefit equal to the marginal cost. We would have here the marginal benefit equal to the marginal cost. And in that case, the function will look the following. The marginal benefit, we said that's equal to 100 minus 2Q. So we would have 100 minus 2Q over here equals to the marginal cost of 20. Well, we take 20 to the other side. So we would take 20 over here, 100 minus 20 is equal to 80, and then we take the quantity to the other side, so that's equal to 2 times the quantity, meaning that the quantity under the private production, when the university thinks privately only, the quantity under the private production would be 80 divided by 2, which is 40 units, and what we see, this is less than 42. Why? Because the university does not take into account that it has positive externalities, so it's underproducing, so to speak. Now. Let's also solve part B as well because it's related. What are the total expenditures on a Pigouvian subsidy on university education? What's the idea here? Well, because we know that there are positive externalities, we would like to stimulate more education in this society. So how do we do so? Well, we will help. We will help the university by offering subsidy, by offering money. And what would that subsidy be? Well, the subsidy would be equal to the marginal external benefit at the social, at the social level. Analogous, the same logic as we had tax equals to the marginal damage at the social optimal level. This is a stimulus to get to that social optimal level that we want. Now, what would that be? Well, the marginal external benefit is a function. The marginal external benefit we saw, we saw just a couple of seconds ago, that's 25 minus 1 over 2 times the quantity. So the subsidy would be the following. The subsidy would be equal to 25 minus 1 over 2 times the social optimal level, which is 42 units, so 1 over 2 times 42. Now what's that going to be? Well, that's 25 minus 45, 42 divided by 2, that's 21. 25 minus 21, that's equal to 4. So the subsidy would be $4, let's say. Now, that's the subsidy per unit. What would be the total cost of the subsidy that the government has to incur? Well, the total cost of the subsidy would be the subsidy per unit time, times all the units of production, and that would be 42 units, so S time Q at the social level. So that would be $4 for 42 units. 4 times 42. So that would be equal to 168. And that's it. We're done here. Next video, one more question.